another perspective on this debt ceiling plan, this proposal, joined by David Schweikert. He's a freshman from Arizona. Thank yeah. you for the time. I appreciate it. And let me get your first impressions. We just heard from Sandy Hoyer. Doesn't love the deal. What do you make of it? Well, you know, I'm actually reading it, which is sort of unique around here, and I'm only about a third through it. Um, you know, I'm trying to reserve my judgment until I read the very last page, but there's parts of it that are a bit troubling. Um, some of it is, what are the actual cuts that are coming within the scope of this Congress, you know, the next year or two, and also how will um, the discussion of taxes and future cuts weave into the commission? Now, Speaker Boehner, in the conference call with you all last night, suggested the tax increases are not included in this plan. What do you make of the commission and the possibility that taxes could be part of it? Well, that's the, the classic problem. The devil's in the details. Um, and it will really mean an awful lot of who gets appointed to that commission um, a, and where they're trying to take it, both from a math standpoint, but also their political leanings. What about the total amount here? We're talking... Most likely, if everything goes according to plan, three, two and a half trillion dollars in deficit reduction over the next 10 years. In your view, is that adequate given the challenge facing the country? Well, even beyond my own view, which is that it's not adequate enough, go back and read the S&P letters or the Moody's. They make it very, very clear we needed a substantial and systemic change to avoid downgrade. This, from what I'm reading, doesn't come close enough to avoid that downgrade. Now, if we could convince those rating agencies that we're going to get some type of balanced budget amendment or something like that, which is not likely. Um, I think you have to assume, whether it be next three months or next year, there's a downgrade baked in the cake. What's your own sense? You're still reading through it. You haven't made up your mind yet. What's your sense about what's going to happen uh, today in the conference when this comes on the floor? Do you think Speaker Boehner is going to have a majority of this conference behind him, even though he may not have you? Um, he may have the majority, and then we'll also see, will the Democrats provide a number of votes? I mean, mechanically, we're, we would all like this to be over, because much of the rhetoric has been, oh, we're going to have a default. We were never going to have a default. Default is not paying the interest on the coupons. The more interesting debate and more honest argument should have been about that one-third of federal spending that is financed through borrowing, and how does that get maintained, and how much of it should be maintained. How worried are you about this vote for your re-election chances? Um, I'm not. Uh, I'm blessed. I represent Tempe and Scottsdale, Arizona. I represent a very smart, very well-educated um, population. And we also have now held almost 30 different town halls specifically on the budget to talk about the scale of what's going on and that this is going to go on for years. We may do this on the borrowing ceiling. But in a couple months, we're going to be back at it again over the budget and continuing resolution. Do you buy what we heard from Gene Sperling a short time ago, that simply resolution of this issue will in some way lift the cloud of uncertainty over the economy, could help spur the economy? Do you buy that? Um, no, not really. The real uncertainty is why do we have such pathetic GDP growth? And if you go back to the first quarter numbers being revised as they are, I think this White House is going to have to step up and say the regulatory burdens, um, both from Dodd-Frank, EPA, and so many other things, um, the uncertainty that the health care law, um, in many ways, I believe there's a crushing uncertainty being created by the regulatory environment, much more than just us fussing over finances. If he needs one more vote tonight on this plan, can he count on you? No. I, my vote comes um, from an ethical basis of do the numbers make sense. All right. David Schweiker, freshman from Arizona. Yeah.